So it is no secret that getting a new mount in Warcraft is one of the most satisfying feelings in the entire game. Also, don't ask me why I'm in Ironforge. And because of that fact, we are going to be getting a new mount today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to finally get our Yak mount because I've been needing to, I've been having to, everybody else has one, and also too because of the fact that our character <laughs> looks like a complete idiot. Going to be great, guys. Going to be great. Maybe we'll even get some Yak milk for our trouble. Who knows? But definitely, yeah, I mean, definitely stick around. I mean, it's awesome. It's a cute mount. It's got fur. It's like a little Yak. It's even got legs, which is, uh, I mean, it's my favorite animals are the ones that have legs. It's very weird, the feeling of needing to have a mount to me. I mean, it's it's just kind of out there, you know, because it's like you, you need to get the transmorgifier, transmogrifier. Blizzard makes up words and it really angers me, okay? Seems like quite a bit of gold and I know a lot of people say, well, that's not a lot of gold, I know what you're talking about, and it's fine, but you can really transfer your real dollar, real life currency into gold, and it just, I don't know, it feels so weird to be able to do that, to go ahead and just pay for an amount that's digitally on your screen that you kind of need with a word that's completely made up that doesn't make any kind of sense at all. It's it, it's where we are at the point in our lives, okay? We are going to be talking to some dwarves here, and usually, I, I, sometimes I make jokes about them. Um, like, I know it's really mean, but if I do make jokes about dwarves, I like to keep them a little short. No? Okay, all right. I mean, I just kind of hope that the trip to there is relaxing anyway, you know, just kind of a relaxing flight through all of the lands and everything, taking a look at it again in the beautiful world of Warcraft. Oh, and if you look, actually, there looks like there is a dwarf that is trying to climb down the wall up there. I think he's escaping from the prison. Maybe he was like an informant or something? I don't know. I'd make a joke about it, but it is a little condescending, like, condescent like a prisoner he's escaped from the, just just never but just, just forget it all right technically i could have used the tram but depending on how long the wait is for the tram it's it's probably the same length if not maybe i'm not gonna say quicker but it could be the same length but yeah i mean you know the acts are cute enough you know i mean the, they got like little fur and little stubby legs and they like to you know walk around all chunky and everything it's really adorable and also too like i said in game just like dolphins they serve a great porpoise no okay i'm gonna stop with the jokes please don't leave please don't leave like subscribe i need you here don't go don't go don't go please that's probably caused by the horde which, I mean, in retrospect, I mean, how stupid of a faction could you possibly join? Like, oh, let's make our capital building out of muds and sticks. That's going to keep it safe and sturdy. Sure, why the crap not? And then there's Stormwind, baby. Heck yeah. Look at this. We use stone. We have great architecture because we have class and because we have morals and appreciation for things that actually stick together. And I mean, just look at this. Look at this beautiful sight that we are ascending to of this beautiful city. I mean, come on, man. People flying all around, all the buildings and everything, too. Look at down. Heck yeah. Look at that. There's even a race going on down there. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and do the, uh, what was it? The New York, uh, I think it was the Boston Marathon or something or whatever. The person got onto a bus and finished it out. It's like, what the heck? And here he comes, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Blue Shell through the finish line. Heck yeah, oh my god, I get a trophy. This is so great. Then again, it is a digital trophy. It's on our screen, which pretty much means that it, it means absolutely nothing in our lives, physically at all whatsoever. It says the guy who's going to get a digital yak in order to ride it because he needs it. It's just so stupid, man. But yeah, I mean, we got to go and get it. I mean, before we get ridiculed with all of this and everything, I mean, it, it's just, it's absolutely ridiculous i think that the player base kind of pressures you into getting things that you don't really think about getting until it's too late and they're like oh hey, oh how are you oh you <laughs> you dressed yourself today <laughs> you don't say look at that captain blue shell dressed his own self <laughs> i'm going the wrong way what are the what the hell are the pandas panda i said you are free to eat Am I? Are you? And then they fight with chopsticks. It's a freaking great movie, man. I love it. In all seriousness, though, if you do look around Pandaria, it really does look beautiful. I mean, it's amazing. It's amazingly well-themed. 
it's got all kinds of just beautiful, serene landscapes to just kind of chill and relax with. And it's nice being back. It's nice being back to, you know, coming here, looking around, and remembering what it used to be with Blizzard back in the day. Not like back in the day, but you know, when they actually put in a lot of hard work and had a lot of good thinking uh, about this game. I mean, even the music, man, just listen. It's just like, it's just so, it relaxes me, it really does. This is very relaxing. And that's, <laughs> that's saying a lot while playing Warcraft. Slow down. No, I don't want to slow down. I'm living my life in the fast lane, panda. I thought you could understand that, being that you had your own movie and all. Alright, we gotta go to... I believe it may be one keg? I remember that that's where we usually go to get the, uh... Whatever it is. Ash or whatever the crap his name is for the mount or whatever. We'll just do it. We'll just... It doesn't matter. If we screw up, we'll just kind of... I, 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 I don't know. We'll crawl. To where we need to go okay yeah i mean but look around i mean this is nice man i mean you got the temples you got the huge freaking statues and i mean if you don't get out of the house and if you have no life <laughs> hey it's nice to <laughs> just kind of go around and uh you know pretend like you're digitally traveling and then we come up here with the beautiful like lakes and ponds and all the people just living in peace and harmony this is great but like I have to say, though, too, uh, I, and I hate to kind of bring this up, but the point of the matter of fact with Final Fantasy, they've got some interesting places, too, in order to visit, you know? I've been looking into playing that again, Final Fantasy, because they have a different dynamic to it. It's like World of Warcraft, yes, you get to do the dungeons, you get to do the raids, you can hang out with friends, but, you know, you guys do quests or raids or dungeons or pvp and that's i mean yeah we have events we have fairs and everything here and there you know like uh seasonal events and everything to do to take part in and then the you know kind of like going back in time time walking events but even those are still dungeons and you know and raids and it's like mm, you know it's, you know, it's a lot. It's a lot of dungeons and, uh, and raiding, which isn't a bad thing, but it's like Final Fantasy, you guys get freaking, like, what, nightclubs? And you guys get to do, like, little mini-games together for, like, points. It's kind of like an arcadic type feeling, you know? You get enough tickets or whatever for this, or you gotta save up for that, and it makes it fun, it makes it interesting. And also, too, it's like, hey, you guys wanna come over for tea to my house, you know, like my FC, you know, whatever house it is, or apartment, or dorm room. I don't know what they do there. I don't I don't know. It's like Final Fantasy. It's like you can go ahead and hang at somebody's house, and it's just... It's not everything, but it's nice that you'd be able to kind of take a break from the game to go and do that. You know what I mean? Whereas this, I mean, it's not bad to be able to go into dungeons or go into raids with friends. It's actually a very good thing. It's, you know, it's really a nice way to kind of, you know, conglomerate, if you want to say it, um, you know, in order to just kind of show up and blow it up and together. But also, too, with Final Fantasy, you can do the same thing. You know, you can do the raids, you can do the dungeons. Yeah, they don't have time walking because they haven't been around that long. But at the same time, it's lots of uh, breaks from, you know, the game itself. And in which of this, if you want to take a break from the game or the storyline or raiding or questing or whatever the case might be, your choices are very, very, very limited. And that's just my two cents. I'm not saying that either game is better than the other. I'm just saying that, you know, as of right now, that's kind of where the two games stand. Also, speaking of which, I am going to be doing Shaw of Anger real quick, just for a weekly, just for the fun of it, just to see, you know, <laughs> it, it's basically like playing the lottery. Y you want to go ahead and enter, even though you know you're not going to win, but you know, you might as well, you know? I mean, win in Rome, right? Oh, dude, I freaking hate this guy, man. He's got the mount that I've been wanting and been needing to get that I can't seem to actually get because I've been spending my time doing things Blizzard wants me to do. But this is a crazy, awesome mount to have. 
and I can't wait to get it. I'll get it one day. I'm gonna get it one day. You'll see. You'll all see. Oh, here we go, everybody. The club's blowing up on a Tuesday. On a Tuesday. On a what? On a on a on a Tuesday. I just only hit my hat on my mic. I do not have a target. Kind of hurt. Acquire a target. I'm gonna go ahead and just. I need to talk. There we go. Okay. I almost didn't get it. I'm like, I didn't really need to get off my mount, but like, okay. Okay, cool. Well, we got some extra gold, so that's not too, too bad. Claw of anger. <laughs> Drips from the claw. It is cold to the touch, but warmth begins to radio up to your arms as you hold. Just screw it. Claw of anger. Dude, that was close, man. I was like, I, I need to just go ahead and get off my mount. Cause I forgot to dismount and I'm like, we're not gonna get this. I'm gonna have to wait until he respawns again. But luckily we barely got him. And so we're good for another week. <laughs> Way to go, Blizzard. Good job. I mean, I guess what it does is that it gives you a pair of like epic boots or something, which is cool. I mean, that's amazing. They're, I mean, they're out of date. We're never gonna use them, but maybe they look cool. I don't know. So let's go ahead and just continue on to the quest to get our yak. And that's what it's all about. Yakety yak, don't come back. But we will. We will be coming back for you, Shot of Anger. I love you. So the last leg of our journey, ladies and gentlemen, looks like we're going to be going right there. Right next to that little, little old house over there. And I think that might be where the Muffin Man lives. But I'm not entirely sure. Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? Yes. Yes, I know the Muffin Man. Who, who lives on Drooly Lane? Well, she's married to the Muffin Man. Well, the Muffin Man? Well, the Muffin Man! She's married to the Muffin Man. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what his name is or anything. All I know is that he's gonna give me a yak and we're gonna get some of the best yak's milk you're ever gonna drink, which is probably, I really hope that yaks produce milk. Yaks produce milk tinted with blood right after they calve. What the fuck? This protein charged pink milk is called beastings. No, no, just no, absolutely not. No, oh uh, no. As the calves get older, yak milk turns to a creamy white. Yak butter is used as lamp fuel to polish fur coats and as a medium for traditional Tibetan sculpture and is probably sold by Blizzard if you pay them enough money. I think that this is the guy. I'm not 100% sure, I but I mean, I think that it is. Oh, hey, looky like. there. Oh my God, look. Oh, what a coinky dink. But like, this is what I'm saying though. You know what I mean? Like we've saved up all of this gold for this one moment and it's, I mean, it's bittersweet because you're getting a mount that you really kind of want. But at the same time, I kind of feel like I don't know, like I'm being extorted, maybe, or possibly, because it's like I want to transmog anywhere I go. Can't do that until we get the yak, which is going to cost you this much, which means I have to get that much, which means I'm either going to have to put in a lot of time in the game to get it, or <laughs> just, uh, you know, like we said, go ahead and transfer some, uh, you know, some of that currency, but you're not buying it for real life money, because that would be completely wrong. But buying a token for money and then transferring it to gold, that's perfectly fine. Yes, yes, very fine, very good. <laughs> Nothing illegal here. <laughs> no, sir. All right, let's go ahead and get right into it. But seriously, let's go ahead, get right into it and get this thing purchased. Are we sure that we want to purchase this thing for all of the gold, the time and effort we put into it? Sure, why the crap not, Blizzard? Go ahead and take my money. I'm gonna take my gold. Sorry, <laughs> that's what I meant to say. All right, guys are we ready i think we are i hope we are here we go grand expedition yak filling up the bar and the grand expedition yak achievements makes me feel so great about myself and in my life that i've achieved something so prestigious <laughs> let's go <laughs> let me go ahead and get the stupid mount from my list there it is guys oh my god don't you judge me on my mount list don't judge me don't you judge me i have more of a life than you do so don't even don't see i'm just kidding i'm just kidding i'm just kidding subscribe come on here we go guys our very first time mounting heck yeah baby and now we can do this oh, and it feels so freaking good again don't judge me on my trans mog mogify morgify mag god dang it 
blizzard. And over here with this to go ahead and repair whatever the crap we need to repair. It actually feels pretty good, to be honest with you. I mean, it is cute. It is an adorable little yak. And plus, it does serve, you know, a great purpose for us to kind of, you know, just transmogify wherever we need to. Also to repair items. A lot of people use this all the time and it's a great mount. Is it worth the price? <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to laugh. I just thought of a great joke and it was funny. It came back to me. That is up for you guys to decide, not necessarily me. I was fine with getting it, even though we whined and complained the entire time. That's besides the point. All in all, I just hope that Warcraft can do better in the future. I'll be honest with you. I hope that they give us a lot more for what we're paying for monthly or for the six-month basis. I really hope that there's more to it than just what we have now. Yes, Dragonflight is coming out uh, at this point in time. We'll see how the expansion goes, but they need something revolutionary. You know, Blizzard, we need something that's off the rails that we haven't ever seen before. You know, stop repackaging the same old crap and trying to extort money from us for things that we've already done. I mean, come on, but... That's just my, you know, my own opinion, but I'm happy right now because we have our yak. Our yak looks happy, which is great, which is absolutely superb. In a Blizzard game, for somebody to be smiling, I'm happy about it. Thank you guys for joining up with me. Definitely follow, like, subscribe. I'll see you on that next beautiful yak attack adventure. It's Captain Blue Shell. I'm out. <laughs>